Hello and welcome to the FinTech Monthly, your roundup of the biggest stories in FinTech from across the world. Coming up in this episode, we discuss TransferWise's rumoured $1 billion valuation following investor interest. Southampton Football Club have partnered with Barclays to enable their supporters to access wearable technology. Also, we discuss the hype surrounding the latest Bitcoin story. Britain might have its next billion dollar startup following rumours of a potential $50 million investment in TransferWise. The startup is keeping quiet but did launch its manifesto this month to tackle banks' hidden fees in foreign exchange. We caught up with one of the startup's co founders to see what it hopes to achieve with the campaign. We're aiming for three things with the petition. First one is always have to make sure that when you're making a foreign exchange transaction of any kind, you see the real mid market rate and you see the rate the provider is giving you. Second, all the fees, the hidden fee and the public fee, have to be displayed up front. And thirdly, lastly, so there has to be a ban on using words like free and 0% commission when things are not free. Check out the profile on TransferWise in our December print magazine. Southampton Football Club are dipping into the world of fintech after introducing a new contactless payment solution for their stadium. Thanks to a partnership with Barclays, fans wearing an NFC bracelet can now pay for drinks and even access the stadium, meaning supporters can leave their cash and tickets at home. Barclays have said that they want to develop further contactless technologies that do more than just payments. This month, everybody's been talking about Blockstream. The entrepreneurs behind LinkedIn, Google and Sun Microsystem have poured their millions into it, but nobody knows really what it does. So far, if you look at their website, all you can find is a white paper. So I caught up with expert Louis Smith from Coinjar to find out exactly what all the fuss was about. Blockstream is a collection of some of the best cryptographers out there who have been working on Bitcoin. Their proposition is that they will invest in the Bitcoin network, not in the infrastructure underneath it, the hardware, not in the apps and, layers, apps and services layers on top of it, but in the blockchain itself, and more explicitly in a thing called sidechains. Essentially, you can transfer your Bitcoins off the central ledger onto a side ledger, and on that side ledger, you can do all sorts of interesting things. You can experiment with different uh, developments that might end up on the main blockchain, or you might use it for a slightly different purpose to the main blockchain. It is important to remember that Bitcoin is one of a multitude of cryptocurrencies. We caught up with Richard Gould from Rag Lawrence Graham & Co. to find out whether Bitcoin will be the cryptocurrency to rule them all. I'm sure that cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies will be used by businesses very broadly. And if you'd asked me the same question before the Silk Road collapse, then I probably would have said that I think something will come pretty quickly to beat Bitcoin because it was tarnished. But actually, with hindsight, the whole Silk Road collapse was one of the best things that could possibly happen to Bitcoin. The bad news was out there, it was brought to the fore, and actually it looks to me right now as though Bitcoin is going to be a winner in this space. Make sure you read Richard's monthly column on Tech City News. A London startup might soon be predicting the future of the financial markets following a recent partnership with the Financial Times. Myriada system enables users to predict the future of the markets by voting in online polls. Financial Times have adopted the technology and viewers of Markets Live will be able to cast their vote in real time. For more information, follow us on Twitter and make sure you pick up the December edition of our print magazine and check out the special report on FinTech. I've been Ben Goldsmith and thanks for watching.